Welcome back to Positive Gamer, where we help gamers live the life they deserve, where we help you live the life you deserve by focusing on things that will help make you a better gamer, a better content creator, and a better person. Today, I want to talk with you and share with you three habits I'm working on developing right now. Now, whether you're a content creator or just someone who loves playing video games, I believe developing habits really help us live more productive and more balanced lives. And so these are three habits that I personally and working on. These are three things that I struggle with to do consistently and that I want to make solid, hardcore habits that I never falter from, that I don't even think about, that I get up and I just do, right? That's that's the beauty of a habit. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to will yourself to do it. It's a habit. You just do it. You don't need motivation. It just happens. The first habit I really want to develop and work on is waking up early. Now, in order to wake up early, I need to go to bed early. And this then that's that's the conundrum, right? That's the part that I really really struggle with. And that's the part that I think a lot of people struggle with and I think a lot of gamers struggle with. A lot of times the only time we can find time to game or to relax and do the things that we like to do are at night. And then, you know, you're tired in the middle of the afternoon, you get home from work or doing what you need to do and then all of a sudden 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock hits and you're boop, wide awake. Let's stay up and play more games. And then you develop this vicious cycle of just always being tired and never getting enough sleep. I want to change that. I want to get up at 5 a.m. I want to make early morning rising a habit in my life. Now, I'm a full-time streamer now. I'm a full-time content creator. It's what I do for my job. And what enabled me to do that was I had developed this habit. When I was working uh, in another job and then creating content on the side, streaming on the side, I developed a habit of waking up at 5 a.m. every single day and streaming at 5.30 a.m before I went to work, right? And I had done more before I went to work than anybody else. Most of my coworkers, they arrived at work and they had woken up 15 minutes prior, right? And I had already streamed, I had already created content, and I did this for two straight years and eventually enabled me to create content full-time, to become a uh, full-time, you know, to get the job that I currently have where I'm a community manager in, in the video game industry. Since I moved to this new role, I've really gotten out of waking up early. I'm on a much more flexible schedule. And with this flexible schedule, I've gotten completely out of the habit. Waking up early, I just find that my mind is completely invigorated, that I'm able to get more done. I get more done between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. than I do between 10 a.m. and noon, right? Like I get or or 10 a.m. and the rest of the day. It's it's just when you wake up and you're up before everybody else, you're fresh. Your mind is fresh. There's no distractions. There's nothing to bother you. For myself, that's when I get some of my best work done. That's when I get some of my best thinking done. That's when I get some of my best content creation done. Now, I want to wake up early, which means I need to go to bed early, which means I need to be in bed. A lot of people can function off of five hours of sleep. A lot of people can function off of six hours of sleep. And I can function, but I don't function very well. I need close to eight hours of sleep. I want to get as close to eight hours of sleep as I can. So waking up at 5 a.m. means I need to be in bed at 9 p.m., winding down approximately 8.45. Maybe I'd, I read a book in bed and then fall asleep. I think sleep, we take sleep for granted, a lot of us. We would rather be doing other things, right? I know I would. But sleep really is the foundation of living a balanced life. If you don't get sleep, you your mind struggles. If you don't get sleep, you're not in as good of a mood, right? If you don't get if you don't get enough sleep, you're just not as healthy. Waking up early, making sure I get enough sleep. This is the habit that I'm really going to be focusing on developing, solidifying and making a huge part of my life. The next habit that I really want to work on and solidify revolves around fitness. You might not know this by looking at me, but I'm not in shape. Actually, you probably do know this by looking at me. I'm not in shape at all. Not at all. I'm hideous. I feel crappy. I eat like crap. Do I go to the gym? Sometimes. Not regularly. Not anymore. I've gotten out of that habit. Fitness. Fitness is important. Taking care of your body is important. Getting exercise is important. Fitness also invigorates your mind. It helps you think clearer. It gives you ideas. It is a stress reliever. And I'm doing none of it. Not right now. I want to get fit. I want to get healthy. I want to get where I'm happy with myself, where I feel good. I'm happy with my body and where I'm at. And so fitness is the habit that I really want to develop. It's something that I've really let fall to the wayside because I'm just too busy, right? Well, along with waking up in the morning, I think the, these two tie hand in hand, right? Me getting up early every single morning is going to open up time for me to become fit. Now, 
in my fitness journey, there's two components to fitness. Uh, and I'm really good at one of them, and I'm really crappy at the second component. The component that I'm decent at is actually working out. I grew up playing sports. I played sports in college. I enjoy working out, so that's not an issue for me. But I also enjoy eating. That number two, the number two component, eating correctly, that's the issue for me. And these two things, they really have to go hand in hand. My habit that I want to focus on is I want to work out at least four times a week and I want to make sure that I'm eating as healthy as possible. This doesn't mean that I'm never going to have dessert or anything like that, but I want to eliminate sugars. I drink fizz sodas. So these are like gourmet sodas. Oh, sugary goodness. I love those things. They're so good. Almost every day. I want to eliminate that. Take that out of my life. To do this, there, I believe in doing things in moderation, right? I don't believe in going to, to extremes because it's just not sustainable long term. So I'm, am I going to allow myself to have sweets? Yes. I'm going to allow myself one day where I can really enjoy and have sweets. And the rest of the time, I'm going to try to be as strict as possible. Now, not strict where I'm not enjoying myself, but just making sure I'm getting vegetables, I'm getting fruits in, and I'm, I'm eating properly, and I'm eating proper portion sizes. I want to make sure I'm exercising at least four times a day. I haven't yet decided. A lot of people really like the early, early morning workout, and I have done it before, and it is a life changer. It does make you feel re- really good. But I think I'm at this point in my life right now where early morning, I just need to get... Th- just waking up early solidified. But right now, I just want to make sure four days a week, probably in the afternoon, is when I'm going to be headed to the gym. Fitness. fit. When you feel good about yourself, everything else, everything else becomes easier. Everything else becomes better. You have more self-confidence. Your mind is better because you feel good, right? You have these endorphins going off inside your brain. Your synapses are firing. And you're just able to do more. You're able to be a more productive person. I want to feel good. I want to feel good about myself. And fitness is the habit that I am working on right now and solidified and making just stone cold part of my life. The third habit that I'm really focusing on in my life, making a habit, developing this habit, is a spiritual habit. I really need to focus on my spiritual side of things. Uh, and that for me is going to be prayer. Now for you, this could be meditation. This could be mindfulness, just taking quiet time. Uh, really some time for self-reflection, daily self-reflection. For me, that's going to come in the form of prayer. I, I believe in prayer. Prayer has helped me in my life. And it's just something that I think... It's, it's just this habit that I really need to solidify and I'm okay at it. You know, I, when I remember, when I think about things, uh, I, I pray, you know, but I just don't have it as a daily habit. Uh, I'm terrible at it. I forget I'm too busy. Uh, but taking that time for prayer, for meditation, for self-reflection, for self-analysis is super important in living a balancing life. And this is why I really want to focus on it. I feel like if I can nail prayer. If I can nail this time where it's me uh, spending time speaking with with uh, my creator, speaking with a higher power, that that w- it will help me just balance my life and keep things in perspective. It will help me to really have gratitude and charity towards people. Uh, it will help me to realize that hey, I've got things good. Here's you know how can I help people? How can I you know what can I do better? How can I improve myself? It really is just about you know, taking the time to self-reflect. And for me, prayer does that ultimately. I believe in it. I love it. I need to solidify that and make that a habit in my life. And that's what I'm going to be focusing on. Habits are super important to me. Habits are the way that I function and the way that I have had success and the way that I will continue to have success in the future. And the three habits that I'm focusing on, prayer, fitness, and waking up early, I believe are three habits that if implemented on a daily basis, are gonna help me to live the life that I deserve. They're gonna help me to be a better content creator. They're gonna help me be a better father, a better husband, a better neighbor. I believe that habits are really important. I believe that ha- developing habits are gonna help me live the life that I deserve. I believe that help developing habits will help you live the life that you deserve. I, be- I believe that developing habits, making them a part of your routine, help us live more successful lives. And it'll help you as a gamer live a more balanced life. I know it helps me live a balanced life. What habits are you developing? Let me know in the comments below what habits are you working on. The beautiful thing about habits is once you develop a habit and make it a habit, you can move on and develop other habits and work on other things that you're working on. It's this it's this starting point, right? It's, it's the starting point to the rest of your life, and I love it. Again, if you're a gamer and you want to live the life that you deserve, you love what we're doing here, please hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, check out our other videos, and remember, if you're not having fun gaming, you're probably not doing it right. I'll see you guys next time.